Welcome to the lesson of PowerPoint. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Prezi style PowerPoint presentation and Microsoft PowerPoint. So make sure to be updated to use the newer versions of PowerPoint so that you get all the tools. So before going into the lesson, we're going to learn about or we're going to see how Prezi style PowerPoints actually work. So now you can see that there are some bubbles. Now when you click on one of them, it will just take you to another place and then you can see that there are more bubbles when you click on it again it will take you to another page well this is how it works okay how prezi style powerpoint works if you go to um let's say um what can we say um let's say we're gonna go to this slide to this slide okay we're gonna go back and let, when you click on set 92 it will show you another one well this is how pretty style PowerPoint works well I use navigation buttons but when I'm gonna do it it's not gonna happen like that so let's start off by starting and let's start making how we can make a Prezi PowerPoint presentation now First off, open up PowerPoint and then first off, start with adding in some slides. Let's add one, two, three, let's say four is enough. And later, the, another works or the or more of them will be like, you can take time and do it. But now I'm going to show you the basics, how you're going to do it. So first off, we're going to add in some colors to the background. So I'm going to do is color. I'm going to select is green let's say this green is fine next one I'm gonna do is add in the color of this well this is also good what I'm gonna do is this and another one will be something like this I guess well I think both of them are the same so I'm gonna do is add in this one well these four colors are enough now what I'm gonna do is add in some shapes so that okay let's add um, triangles this time so I'm gonna do is add in a triangle what we're gonna do is make two triangles so press on control and then drag it over here so you will see that it will copy the shape or whatever object you have in PowerPoint now I'm gonna do is add in a photo right here okay now I'm gonna if you want to add in a photo okay what I'm gonna do is um, format shape I'm gonna do is color but I'm gonna use texture and filter I don't want that so I'm gonna do is press on insert and then go to stock or maybe okay let's say online pictures so I'm gonna do is online picture and then click on um, let's go with books books are enough so I'm gonna do is click on one of them and just press on insert and it will turn into a book okay you can see that there are some books right here next what I'm gonna do is let's change or remove the outlines so, so no outlines next I'm gonna do is change in um, pay picture here to insert and then online picture now what I'm gonna do is add in cakes okay let's add a cake I'm gonna do is insert this and then change outline into none no outline now it's good so this will open up book section and this will open up cake section okay so I'm gonna do is let's say okay let's add some books here so I'm gonna do is go to the web and I'm gonna do is as you can see that I've been using um, the phone sections and now I'm gonna do is search for some books let's say um, Let's say just kids books okay kids books now what I'm gonna do is add in some of the books which I want okay you can also add hyperlinks that's also doable you don't have to worry about it but if you want to add like um, just this page you can also do that but what I'm gonna do is uh, let's say uh, let's say this one Well, this is also doable. What I'm going to do is um, let's take a screen snap for first and then add in a hyperlink next one. So, I'm going to do is screen snippet, 
screenshot screens clipping I'm going to start from here to here okay that's all to doable so I'm going to do is as it is done so I'm going to do is add some shapes right over here insert click on shapes what I'm going to do is add this right okay shift and then make one and I'm going to do is add in no fill okay no fill but shape outline should be um, it should weigh a bit fat and then I'm going to change the color of not the shape color but I'm going to do is change this one and now what I'm going to do is uh, sorry my bad change it like let's say this box over here it will be a hyperlink okay it will just take you to another site or maybe open up new ones so what I'm gonna do next is add in a hyperlink here so before adding in the hyperlink here so I'm gonna do is click on it add in a hyperlink not this one, oh, my bad. I'm gonna do is add in hyperlinks on this one hyperlink what I'm gonna do is add in three right here okay press on OK well now this is a hyperlink so I'm gonna do is next what I'm gonna do is make third have some more sections so I'm gonna do here is go to the like internet and I'm gonna do is have some more things like let's snip this in the third one so I'm gonna do here is go to screen snipping okay let's go a bit above Okay, now this is okay. So I'm gonna do is go to insert again, screenshot, screen clipping. Now I'm gonna start from here this time. Let's say this is enough. Okay, let's crop it a bit. If I want it to be like the whole thing, so that can also be done. Okay, now it's going to turn into this. But first off, what I'm going to do is let's say, let's cut it. Okay, now I'm going to do is click on it, just copy, um, copy this shape into this one. And then what I'm going to do is turn this whole thing into a big one. Now it's done. So I'm gonna do is um, paste. Okay, Control V, not this one, but Control V the screen clip which I had, or maybe let's take another one. Screen clip this. now it's done okay and if you want to add more sections and more shapes or more like more and more you can also do that let's say if we keep one here keep another one right here that is also doable okay you don't have to worry about any of that so what I'm gonna do is go to the fourth one and I'm gonna do is just add one of it so I'm gonna do is add in a hyperlink so next one I'm going to do is add in a hyperlink of some cakes, okay? So let's say cakes. When it say cakes, I'm going to do is select these ones, okay? So I'm going to do is let's say when I click on cakes, it will open up this one, this page, okay? Or maybe it will open up something like this. Okay, let's reduce the size a bit so we can select on whichever one we want. Okay, um, okay. I think this is enough for us to select our crop, our screen snip. 
and I'm gonna do is go to PowerPoint presentation again and I'm gonna do is add in a hyperlink okay before adding in the hyperlink what I'm gonna do is insert screenshot screen clip this first and then go to there okay let's say we need just this and I'm gonna do is cut this and paste it right over here now if we intersect or like ungroup all of these like make four different sections that is that can also be done but now I'm not gonna do that because it might take a lot of time and might get a lot complex so I'm gonna do is let's just keep it like this now I'm gonna do is add in morphs to each and every one of them morph morph and morph okay well that is also doable if you want to do like this copy you can also paste it right over here and then if we add in morph I want it to be like this big like zoom in enough big to like okay this and then get off from this page okay now let's start off how this looks like press on f5 let's say okay okay my bad we didn't add in a hyperlink so i'm gonna do is add in a hyperlink to the fourth slide okay now it's a hyperlink okay press f5 let's say let's start off with this one when you click on this it will take you to that one if we go back that can also be done well you can see that this is how it works and when we press on cake you can see that it has opened up this one and if we add more hyperlinks that can also be done okay so if you want to add more additional like more sections right here you can also do that if you want to do that what I'm gonna do is let's make some shapes right here and let's show you how it works so I'm gonna do is make in a small shape like this shift right here okay let's add more okay control let's add another one here let's add another one here and let's add another one here okay now all of them can be added into hyperlinks and if you want to add in more that can also be done just add in a new slide okay and then what we're gonna do is drop in different or maybe if you want to be like or if you want to add like chocolate cake only so you can only add a chocolate cake in one of the slides. if you want to add classic cake another slide add a classic cake section in a slide if you want vegan cake add a vegan cake slide another time and then easy baking add another one so when you make four of them click on these shapes and these will turn into hyperlinks when you add in hyperlinks like this and just click on hyperlink and then add in the slide and it can also be done and at the end what we're gonna do is click on transition click on morph if you want to change the objects you can do it if you want to change words that can also be done well I don't have extra words here or characters here so I'm gonna do is just click on objects well objects are changing so that is it how you're gonna add in Prezi style presentation in PowerPoint thank you for seeing this video Hope you guys understood everything.